Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today on Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018, day 15, I am going to show you how to take one man's garbage and turn it into your treasure. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need an empty wine glass, tapered candles, you will need a flat ornament, any ornament of your choosing, some glitter, you will need some twine, I am going to be using brown twine and red twine, some jingle bells, and some invisible nylon thread. Of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting! first thing we are going to do to prepare for our project is take our twine and wrap it up the entire height of that bottle now as you can see I've already well I've taped my bottle and this is simply because I do not want to give any free advertisement away on my channel and so of course, as I continue to complete this process off camera, I will remove that painter's tape from the bottle. But in an effort to show you how we're going to start this, as you see, I took my hot glue and I placed a stream of hot glue down and placed my twine in it. You're going to repeat that step going all the way around the base of that bottle until your first round of twine has been safely secured on the bottom. Once you have secured your first round of twine, then we're going to change the process up a little by taking our Mod Podge, placing our Mod Podge on that bottle and continuing to wrap that bottle around in the twine. So as you can see, I've gotten back to where we first started. And now we are ready for our Mod Podge. So I'm taking my brush and I'm simply going to paint up in increments, maybe of about two, an inch and a half to two inches at a time because you don't want that Mod Podge to dry since this is what's going to be anchoring the rest of the twine to your bottle. But once you have placed your Mod Podge, all you're going to do is take your twine and wrap it around your bottle or take your bottle and wrap it around the twine. <laughs> what you see I did was I simply took my spool of twine and I threw it down on the floor and this is going to just help me by keeping that twine out of my way and allowing it to come freely to me as I continue to twist my bottle around that twine. So as you can see, I'm twisting, I'm pulling, and then I'm taking my index finger, the nail on my index finger, and I am pushing that twine down, making sure that we do not have any excess space in those places, or rather that our wine glass, wine bottle, is not showing out too much so of course i'm going to continue this process off camera until i get all the way to the top and when i return i'm going to tell you what's next here is our wine bottle that we have wrapped all the way to the top with our twine and as you can see I removed the blue tape that was there now what we are going to do is repeat this process halfway up our bottle with our red twine and pretty much like we did for our brown twine <clears throat> excuse me we are going to anchor that with some hot glue and then we are going to continue this process with our Mod Podge which is going to help to seal 
that brown twine as well as give a red twine a nice luster to it. So I am going to continue this process off camera and work my way to about halfway up the top of that bottle. Here is our wine glass with our layer of red twine. And now what we're going to do again with our Mod Podge, we are going to go in and place our Mod Podge around that middle section, that red section, going all the way around until we meet back up on the other side. What this Mod Podge is going to do is, it is going to allow us to glitter our piece as well as give some added luster to our red twine. We're going to use the glitter on this piece to give us some added texture. And we are going to add this texture by using not a fine glitter, but rather a very coarse glitter. Once you have gotten all the way back around to the other side, it is simply going to be a matter of taking your glitter, opening it and shaking it on, not worrying about if you've used too much or if you've used too little. I mean, you can't go wrong basically with glitter, my darlings. If you do put down too much, you know that all you have to do is knock off, hit the bottle to get rid of the excess. But as you can see, I'm simply going in, placing my glitter, and once I have done so, I'm going to shake off any excess and then set this to dry for a few moments. Here is our bottle thus far, my darlings. Mm. What we are going to do now is take our ornament, whatever ornament you have selected to do so. I am using a white snowflake. Just make sure that it is flat. Um, take your hot glue gun, apply some hot glue, and then place your ornament in its place and apply some pressure. In addition to my snowflake, I am also going to place, <coughs> excuse me, an iridescent gem in the middle of my snowflake. And to do that, I'm simply again going to go in with my hot glue gun and place my gem smack dab in the middle. <laughs> and then I am going to take or have taken my two jingle bells and I have strung them together with my invisible nylon thread and I'm simply going to hang these over my snowflake, not gluing them down, but just hanging them over that snowflake. <coughs> Excuse me. Finding my placement and allowing them to hang. And then the last thing that we're going to do for this project is place our candle in our wine bottle. Now, my candle is too big for the mouth of my wine bottle. So all I'm doing here is what I'm showing you is taking my razor and whittling away at the bottom of that candlestick. And once I have taken off what I feel is enough, I'm simply going to take my candlestick, see if it fits. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, whittle away some more <laughs> and there you have it so i'm going to go clean these up stage them and then i'll be back to show you our finished project well here you have them my darlings our wine bottle re-up christmas decor <laughs> aren't these absolutely whimsical listen I have been holding on to these bottles for a while because I have always known that there would have been a craft that would come up for me to use them. And I am so happy that in fact I did hold on to these bottles because I could not have thought of a cuter, more whimsical project to use these bottles for. And so if you are in the restaurant business or perhaps the, the theater business or perhaps 
I don't know, a rental business, then this project, my darlings, is 100% for you. If you like farm decor as well, then here you go. I mean, we have just taken something that someone else may have thrown out as garbage, cleaned it up, recycled it, and here we are again putting it to good use so not only is our piece decorative but it is as much functional and so my darlings if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up two thumbs up three thumbs up <laughs> and then leave me a comment in the comment section below I would love to hear from you is this a recycling project that you could see yourself doing at home or if you are an event planner or an event renter or a bar or a restaurant owner let me know if this is something you can see yourself doing this holiday season to decorate your place I would love to hear from you to my Danny's darlings I just would like to tell you thank you for all of the love the comments the questions the feedback but most importantly I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for your encouragement please know that none of it is wasted and i appreciate each and every one of you to my danny's darlings or rather to those of you who may not yet be danny's darlings <laughs> and who may have stumbled across our channel today kindly be sure to subscribe to our ever-growing community of diyers as we learn from and craft with each other on a daily basis during craftmas 2018 and when you do subscribe also be sure to ring the notification bell to ensure that you are made aware whenever any of our videos have been published as well as whenever we go live as a community and so my darlings before I sign off from today's video of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018 day 15 I am going to leave you with the motto to our channel which is simply this say it with me why buy when you can DIY and so my darlings my loves until tomorrow for Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018 day 16 I say to you please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that I love you all <laughs> bye now